The story goes that in a very distant place on a planet called Blaster, there are three beings with unimaginable powers. The most respected and feared beings by any deity, neither the angels nor the king of all have set foot in that place. It is rumored that one of those three beings is the same father of Zenosama, and that also inhabits the same and only Saiyajin god, the proudest being that could ever exist. There is a third person, but this is totally unknown. They say that it's a woman, but no one knows, no one has been brave enough to enter the unpublished. We present the extinction of the Saiyajin race. Everything would begin a year after the events of the Tournament of Power. Goku would be training in the Room of Time because he wanted to become stronger. Goku, he would leave the room. His reflexes and skills have been polished a little more. However, Goku would know that training that way would not be enough, not even if he trained a thousand years more. Mr. Goku, why don't you ask Mr. Whis to train you? To which he would tell Dende that Whis no longer wanted to train him because he had not accepted the position for the successor of the God Destroyer. And right now Whis would be training Vegeta since he accepted the position. Although I really find it very strange that Vegeta accepted this position since she had previously rejected it outright, Goku would not care much seeing that he did not have much to do and that he was on Earth. He would go to visit his family because he had left aside all his family and friends. Goku would visit Gohan first. He would arrive at Gohan's house and meet Videl, who answered him that Gohan was not at home, that he was at the university. Videl gave Goku a sheet of paper with that address of Gohan's school. He would take it and fly away. When he arrives, he met Gohan. Gohan says, Dad, it's you. Goku replies, Hello, son. How long has it been? How are you doing? Goku and Gohan would be talking for many hours. It seems strange to me, father, that you would come to see me. Goku replies, I see. I haven't been a good father to you and neither to Goten. I just spend my time training without knowing anything about you. Gohan immediately interrupts Goku to tell him, Don't say that, dad. You're my true motivation. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have a family. Even because of you, this planet exists. When Goku heard his son say those words, he hugged him. Thank you, son. Gohan replied, Father, is it true that now my goal is to study and have a happy family? But now that you are here, I want to show you everything. Goku would be very interested in what Gohan would have to show him. Gohan takes Goku in an uninhabited place. Gohan says, I know I have not followed the path of fighting, and I am not as powerful as Mr. Vegeta or you, Father, but even so I have not stopped training in secret. I entered many times to the Room of Time to become stronger, and now I want to take advantage and show you my new powers, Father. Please fight seriously with all your power. Goku would be very surprised. Even he did not believe the words coming from Gohan. Goku, without saying a word, uses a Super Saiyan blue form, adding a Kaioken. Gohan says, Father, you're very powerful. But even though I'm not at your level yet, let me tell you that I decided to surpass you. Gohan uses his mystic mode. Goku and Gohan have a fight. Each blow made the earth vibrate. All the inhabitants of the cities closest to where Goku and Gohan were fighting transmitted news of a great earthquake that would be witnessed. Even the sea is very restless. People screamed in fear. Everyone believed that it was the end of the world. Master Roshi, Piccolo, Tenshinhan, Yamcha, Number 18, Krillin had felt that tremendous power. Piccolo rushes out to witness the fight of Gohan against Goku. Goku says, Son, I see that the training you have taken has very good results. I congratulate you. Thank you, Father. You're very powerful. Shouts a voice near Goku and Gohan. It's Piccolo. Goku, if you don't do anything, your son will end up surpassing you. Goku replies, Piccolo, is that you? Haha, <laughs> you can't even say it. He's very strong. 
but with the Super Saiyan Blue and the Kaioken, he gave me a little worry. To which Piccolo, smiling, would say to Goku, I'm sure you won't be able to handle Gohan's new power. Goku is confused by what Piccolo says. New power? Isn't this all his power? Don't be naive. It's true that Gohan has a family, and he has a life like any ordinary human, but he has never stopped training. I don't know if he told you, but now his goal is to surpass you. Gohan, use it! Use your new power against your father. Goku would be very excited and enthusiastic. That's right, father. What happens before? That was just a brief warm-up. Now I will use all my power. This is the real result of my training. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, my money Goku would be looking at Gohan without saying a word. Goku was brimming with great pride on his son's behalf. Goku said, Son, you're really impressive. I never imagined that you were hiding something like this from me. Damn it, I'm so excited. I feel like fighting like hell. Very well, father. What do you say we continue our battle? Goku would become much more serious in combat position. Son, I don't have to tell you. I will only tell you that I'm very proud of you. You really impressed me. I'll give you 100% of myself. Piccolo, somewhat annoyed by the emotion, shouted, Leave the chatter for later and start at once. Goku and Gohan would face each other again. This time, the whole planet would tremble. The power clashes were too big. Everyone believed that it was the end of the Earth because earthquakes, tidal waves, strong winds and the clouds had become nothing. Goku and Gohan would be very equal. Gohan, with a huge kick, sends Goku flying to where Piccolo is. Piccolo says, What do you think? Your son is now very powerful. I know I keep saying it, but I'm very proud. And thank you, Piccolo. I know that all this is partly thanks to you. If Gohan is this strong, I imagine that you weren't left behind. Piccolo just laughs without saying anything. Goku replies, It's not fair that I don't use this against my son. He's giving his all in this battle. Goku with those words would leave Piccolo confused. Goku says, All right, son, get ready. Goku would shout to Gohan. Goku uses the Ultra Instinct. Piccolo would say in mind, This is fantastic. Father and son giving their all. Very good, Gohan. You've made your father recognize that great power of yours. Show him that you're up to the task. This time, a third round begins. But this time, Gohan did not land any hits. Goku's ultra instinct was more superior. Goku hit Gohan repeatedly with a punch in the face. Goku would send Gohan crashing to the ground. Goku would join his hands, getting in position to use the Kamehameha. Gohan would get up and look at the great power of his father. Piccolo says, Gohan, you can do it. You can do it. Finish with your father's attack. Gohan, just like his father, gets in position to use the Kamehameha. These two launch the attack at the same time. Goku seems to be very calm. Damn, my father in that form is invincible. What a great power. I'm proud to be the son of the warrior Goku, so I have to give everything in this attack. Piccolo would yell at Gohan. Come on, Gohan. Prove that you are the son of the mightiest warrior in the world. Gohan would increase his power by causing Goku's Kamehameha to recoil. Goku said, Son, you're really amazing. Thank you for this, and again, thank you, Piccolo. Goku uses more power, making Gohan's Kamehameha disintegrate. At the last moment, Goku deflects the attack to the sky, making it not hit Gohan. Gohan would fall in his base form to the ground, almost passed out from exhaustion. Goku approaches Gohan in his Ultra Instinct form and tells him, Son, you're amazing. Goku falls to the ground in his base form. Piccolo approaches and says, Wow, looks like this fight was a little close. Goku replies, Just something. Gohan, Piccolo, and Goku laugh. 
Piccolo takes out two seeds, giving them to Gohan and Goku, making them recover. Goku says, Thank you, Piccolo. What a good fight. I'll really have to continue my training, or you'll surpass me very soon, Gohan. After that, all the others arrive. Goten approaches. Goten says, Hi, Dad. I see it was you and Gohan fighting. You have impressive powers. Goku says, That's right, Goten. Your brother is very powerful. Goten says, That's right. When I grow up, I want to be like my brother. Piccolo says, When you grow up, why wait if you can train right now and try to catch up with your brother? Goten would be filled with motivation. The others would talk with Goku and their confrontation. Krillin says, What do you think if we go to Bulma's house to have a little party, since Goku is only in training, and he's never here? But this time, we have to take advantage that he's here. Tell me, Goku, are you coming? Asks Krillin. Goku replies, Of course I am. Goku answers very happily. They were all enjoying a great banquet of food when suddenly, without warning, the destroyer god of Universe 6, Champa, lands with the angel Vados. Gohan says, He's the god of Universe 6. Goku replies, What is he doing here? Champa would be a little nervous. Champa says, mm, Don't say anything to Bills. I just came to taste the delicious food on the Earth. Champa would say, Goku would ask him about the planet Earth that the god Bills had given him with the super spears. That planet is still in the dinosaur era. There's no one to make me delicious food, said Champa, who was somewhat disappointed and angry. I must admit that I was also very excited to have a planet like yours, but I never imagined that there is still no one who can make us the dishes that they make on this planet. I never hated dinosaurs this much, said the angel. Vado's somewhat indignant. Well, if this isn't Bill's brother, eat all you want, said Bulma, inviting Champa and Vados. Champa says, I've been misjudging you, Bulma. You really have a good heart. Champa would join in with Goku and eat all the food. Goku says, Come on, Vados. Try this. It's very tasty. Goku would say, showing Vados a plate of pudding. Vados replies, Thank you very much. Vados would fall in love with the pudding when she tasted the dish. Goku would say, It is very tasty, isn't it? Goku would say, to which Champa answers, Yes, everything is perfect, but tell me, where is the dwarf who always hangs out with you, that Vegeta guy? To which Bulma answers to Goku. Bulma says, Vegeta, he's now training on Bill's planet. Since Vegeta will be the successor of the Destroyer God, Champa would be very surprised. That Bill's is going to have a successor? That's strange. Vados would ask why Goku would not be training with Whis. Goku would tell him that Whis did not want to train him anymore because Goku did not accept the position of Destroyer God. Vados would stare at Goku. Well, that's strange. Vados would say in his mind, If Goku is the most powerful in the universe, it's in their interest that Goku becomes stronger. In case something like the Tournament of Power happens again, something is going on. I'll go to my brother later to inform him. Hey, Goku, why don't you ask Vados to train you? If I'm well informed, Vados is stronger than Whis. Goku replies, huh? That's right. Vados, please could you train me? Vados would get a little nervous. Champa says, Come on, Vado, strain him, as a thank you for this delicious food. Besides, this way Goku could bring us delicious food from Earth to our universe, and just think about it, to which Vados would only sigh. Vados replied, All right, but please take me to some of that pudding. Goku replies, All right, it's a promise. Gohan, you have to come too, Goku would say excitingly. Gohan replied, I'm sorry, Father. As I told you before, I have to be with my family. Besides, I have a lot of work and chores to do. Goku said, I understand, son. It's a pity. Gohan replied, I have already taken my oath to surpass your powers. I will continue to train and become stronger. Someday, I will defeat you and your ultra instinct. Gohan would say, Very well said, Gohan. Don't worry. Goku, I'll see to it that Gohan fulfills this purpose. Goku replies, I'm so proud of you. If you keep this up, you'll break all your limits. Goten said, Dad, then you're leaving again. Goku replied, Goten, son, I'm also very proud of you. I can tell you've been training too. Don't worry, I'll be back very soon. I promise to be back next week. Krillin says, Hey, Goku, tell me how far you want to go. You're already very powerful, but you still want more power. Tell me what motivates you. You all, my family and friends, you're what motivates me the most in the Tournament of Power. I met many very powerful warriors, and today, I just met the great power of Gohan. I can't let Gohan surpass me. I have to make it difficult for him. 
Remember this, you never know when we will meet an extremely powerful being who wants to disappear the Earth. We are the ones who can protect it. That's why every time I can, I must become stronger. Piccolo would only smile and say, It seems that Goku from before is back. The next time you come to Earth, you will face me. I also want to use my new powers against you. Goku would reply, I promise. Goku said, looking at Piccolo. Vado says, All right, Sir Goku, then we're leaving. Don't forget to take some of that pudding. Goku is traveling to Champa's palace. Champa says, All right, here we are. Vados, take care of Goku. I'm going to take a little nap. Vados says, All right, my lord. Just make sure the nap doesn't last 20 years. All right then, Goku. What do you want to achieve? Goku says, It may sound a bit ambitious, but right now, I just want to break the Ultra Instinct barrier. That phase is very powerful, and I have almost mastered it. But I know I can be stronger. Vados would be speechless. Vados says, So... That's what the Saiyajins of the Universe 7 are like. Very well, I want to check your skill. Let's start by seeing how strong you are. Vados would ask Goku to face her. This is his Ultra Instinct form and attacks Vados. However, this is not able to touch Vados. And so they would take several hours. Goku would begin to tire. Goku would hit a right in the air trying to reach Vados. However, Goku loses the Ultra Instinct. Vados would be taken by surprise. Goku to lose the transformation. This is unbalanced by the blow making his whole body Vala against Vados. This is to see Goku so close as if this would embrace her, would be very nervous. Goku's face lands on the breast of Vados. This immediately is hit, being knocked out by Vados. Vados says, you're a pervert. Goku would be unconscious. Later, Vados would realize that it was not intentional. She just hit him out of instinct. She would take Goku to recover from the blow. Bado says, Very well, since Mr. Champa and Goku are sleeping, I will take the opportunity to visit my brother Whis. Vados travels to Universe 7, where Whis would be training in Vegeta. But look who came. Bills would say, this one would say, Come out, come out, wherever you are. No, he didn't come. I came alone. Hello, sister. Is something wrong? Vados would look at Vegeta training and say, Hello, brother. I ran into Goku and he asked me to train him because you don't want to train him just because he didn't accept to be your successor of Mr. Bills. Bill says, You ran into Goku. I'm sure Champa went to taste the food of the earth. Bills would start laughing. Whis would say, What's wrong, my lord Bills? Bills? Bill said, It is that when I won the confrontation of Champa against my universe, I gave a new planet Earth to Champa. I asked him to be in the dinosaur era. So he will have to wait many years until there is someone who prepares dishes like the one from our land. Bills would not stop laughing. Vado said, I see. Then that was the reason. Bills replied, that's right. But you mentioned that Goku is in Champa's palace. That's very convenient. Very soon a war will start that we won't be able to win. Bills would say very seriously. Vados replied, what does that mean? Whis would tell everything to Vados, who would be very scared and trembling with fear. Vado says, Is that true? Whis replies, That's right, sister. The target is Mr. Goku, so our universe will be the first affected. Vegeta also knows it. However, he wants to stay to protect his family and planet Earth. We cannot do anything, sister. I entrust you to Mr. Goku, and do not tell him anything about this. Otherwise, he will have the same fate that will have Mr. Vegeta and the other Saiyajins of the Earth. Vados replies, And you agree with that, Mr. Vegeta? Vegeta replies, if it is my destiny, I will take it. I train to protect my family and the Earth, and I will never run away without doing anything. But then, why do you let Mr. Goku not participate in this? Vegeta replies, Kakarot doesn't know anything, so he is not running away from anything. I myself asked Whis and Bills not to tell him anything. I hope you do the same. Vados would be impressed by Vegeta's words. But that's just suicide. Vegeta replies, maybe. But even with what I know, it doesn't matter if Kakaroto is there and uses his Ultra Instinct, we will still be annihilated. It's better that this airhead lives and becomes more powerful. Vados, without saying anything else, leaves. When he arrives in Universe 6, he finds Goku training alone. Vados says, you're still training? Goku would notice that Vados would be a little strange. What's wrong, Miss Vados? Goku asked. Vados replied, it's nothing. Now we will continue with the real training. 
Goku would still continue training under Vados' harsh teachings. Two more days would pass, and Goku was going to return to Earth as promised. So Mr. Goku is going to return to Earth? And Goku says, that's right, I'm going to visit my wife. This time, I didn't visit her, I only met with my children. Besides, I have a pending confrontation with Piccolo, and I have to bring you that pudding that I promised you, the one you like so much. To which Vados answers, it's not necessary, Mr. Goku, said Vados, very nervous. Easy, a promise is a promise. You could leave me on Earth. Vados would be so nervous that she could not even answer because it was very difficult for her because she would already have an idea of what might have happened on Earth. But she would know that she could not do anything. So she accepts to take Goku to Earth. Goku and Vados, they arrive to planet Earth. Goku says, What's going on? Why is everything like this? The whole planet Earth would be as if it were a few hours away from exploding. The whole place was in chaos. Goku would be worrying too much because he didn't feel any presence. Goku flies in the air trying to find others. Goku says, Damn it! What happened here? While I was gone! Goku finds his friends Piccolo and for some reason also Freezer, Krillin, Vegeta, and Gohan. All of them would be lying on the floor as if they were brutally beaten. Goku could not believe his eyes because not only them, all the inhabitants of the planet, none of them were left alive. When he saw Gohan lying on the ground, he remembered his son's promise that someday he would overcome him. Also what he had pending with Piccolo and all the others. Goku breaks down emotionally and mentally breaking all his limits. Even the planet Earth, the whole planet would be filled with the power of Goku. He falls fainting onto the ground. Vado says, What was that? That transformation? That hair? Those eyes? It's not from... Vados would be deprived to see the power that Goku had unleashed. So it's true. That's why they want to wipe out all the Saiyajins. Damn it. Now what am I going to do with you?